but he survived. They absorbed or they disintegrated. Okay, what's everyone's passive perception? I think mine's 14. 14? Mine? Yeah. 14, yeah. 14? <laughs> None. I'm basing oh. this on what I learned from my from my arcane check. Like, sorry, mine is um, mine's fifteen. All right, so we got fifteen. Canthy's fourteen. What's Luna's? Wait, what, wait, what are we rolling? Uh, I just need to know your passive perception. Oh, perception ten. Ten. All right. Well, they they roll bad. Okay. So Ellie, you your dancing lights have caught the attention of three more shadow beings and you can hear them rustling in the nearby area they haven't quite found you but like, if you don't do anything they will find you and your friends like straight up out of an action movie i just go we've got company <laughs> okay do you, are you standing your ground, or are you going to run? What do you want to do? Because you've not been found yet. Um, wait, am I, am I by myself? You went down, yeah, you went into the thicket about, you're about 15 feet away from everyone else. Um, oh, okay, I'm like 15 feet away from everyone else. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I run back to everybody else, and I'm just like, we've got more shadow feeds! And, um, I guess I'll start, I'll, I'll, I'll attack. Okay, okay. I am going to, how many are there? There's three. There's three. Shuffling around in the darkness. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do a, do a thing. Okay. I'll grab a little bit of dew from the vegetation on my staff. And then it'll like, as I as I drag it forth, it like coalesces into an icy dagger, and then mm -hmm. I throw it forth. Okay. I think I have to make a an attack against them. Oh, wow. Did you hit them? I got another natural one. I am just not hitting anything with my dice. Oof. But it's okay. Um, everything within five feet of the um, of them take must make a deck save. I'm I'm hoping to hit all three of them. But that's uh, one saved. The, uh, yeah, one got a natural 20. Um, does a 13 save? No. Okay, the other one failed, so you hit two. Okay. Come on. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm rolling a lot of ones. I rolled two ones on my 2d6 damage. So I do a measly two points of little icy damage, just a little frost snip their nose. So you send this ice dagger into the darkness, the blackness of the forest seems to just swallow it whole and then you see it, the, the shards of this ice knife explode and then like um, the two others scatter into the darkness and the other one goes Okay, let's roll initiative. Well, never mind. But, uh... Alright, Ellie, what'd you get? I got a 10. Okay, Kayanti. I got a 9. Okay, Kiara? I got 14 in all. I rolled a 2 and it's plus 6. Okay, Luna, what'd you get? 7. Wow. Alright, alright. <laughs> We're coming in hot. <laughs> okay. It's okay, guys. I soften them up with my two points of ice damage. That is enough damage I did for that. That is more effective, so. Okay, so the, um, the two of them vanish into the shadows 
and then lurk around in the darkness. We'll see. They move fairly quickly on the shadowy floor. Okay, one goes for Kiara and is going to make a claw attack on you. Okay. Does does a sixteen hit you? Okay, it, it hits you. Okay, maybe you guys will actually just a little bit scared of these guys now. This guy actually. Okay, so you take nine points of necrotic damage. And you need to make a DC con saving throw. Uh, DC 11 con saving throw. 17 plus 5. Okay, yeah, you you make the save. So as it um, it slashes through with its um, dark claws and it Although it has no physical presence, you feel it basically like cut into you and, and like sap life out of you. And um, you feel it trying to like pull your the, the strength out of you, but you shrug it off. And the next one, okay, the other, there's another one that's gonna come around. Nine points. What? Nine points, nine yeah, points. nine. Nine points, sorry. Okay. Um, it's gonna go for Ellie. Oh no! And uh, it's. But I'm so cute. You're so cute and adorable. I don't want to eat you. You're so cute. I just want to eat you up. Oh, okay. That's gonna hit. That's a twenty-four. Yep, that hit. Okay. Okay, that's ten points of necrotic damage. Ouch. And you need to make a DC con saving throw. That's an eight. You suffer, so it, it cuts through your skin and you feel it saps some strength from you. You have, you have basic, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, you've been hexed and you have a minus one to all strength based attack rolls, wow. saving throws, and strength ability checks. Ooh. Okay. Alright, oh. next up is Kiara. I want to cast Booming Blade, and okay. I want to strike the one that hit me. Um, that was... Okay, I know which one it is. Yes. Uh, and they have to make it... Oh no, it's the same move. So, I have to roll hit. Okay, roll for hits. Fifteen. That hits. Uh, oh, okay. And that is two sixes, and another six, so that is what, 18? Oh, 18 points of damage. Yeah. Wow. Nice. nice. Yeah. And 12 of that is slashing damage. So. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay. More cats. It's, yeah. it has resistance to damage from non-magical weapons, so you would do 12 Twelve points. What's the name again? What's the name again? Not burger. Not burger. I just love it. Yeah. Don't get down. I had fun. So I'm sorry to make you repeat that last part, but what about my weapon? Uh, so it has resistance to non-magical weapons. So your slashing damage is halved. So you did twelve points of damage. Okay. All right. Um, do you want to do any? I think are you are you done with your turn? You can move and do a bonus action. I don't know what I'll do. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'll do. Alright, I don't want to do this either. Alright. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay. So the second one is uh, not the the third one is going to go after Luna and it's gonna go and try to hit you. Does Oh, okay, that's a dirty twenty. Okay. Um so it's gonna do that does nine points of necrotic damage. I think okay. you're resisted to that. And then you need to make a DC 11 con throw, or suffer the same as Ellie. Okay. 
I don't think so. Only like celestials or. Oh, okay. Good luck, buddy. Oh, 15. Okay, yeah, you save. You shrug it off. Okay, and. That's a miracle. Yeah, these guys are chumps. So uh, next up is <laughs> Ellie. Is there a guy like on top of me? Uh, he's not on top of you, he's just by you. Like he slashed you with his arm and um, is recoiling at this point. Just pulling his arm back. So he didn't jump on you, he just slashed you. Well, yeah, I, I'm asking if, uh, like, if I move away from it, if I'll get an attack of opportunity. Yeah, he's, in with, he's within melee. Okay. Um, um, yeah, I'm just like kind of like on the ground after like it slashed at me. I like quickly like get up and I like reach into my bag. I pull out two little wood carving totems that I've made and just like kind of throw them out as I cast um, Conjure Animals. Woo, okay. And I summon two dire wolves. Okay. Um, and they're just like harrowing this like shadow, this shadow beast guy. And, um, and I'm just basically going, Sipo, Sipper, sick him! And, um, and bonus action, I am going to, um, teleport away. Yay, face step! Nice! Use my face step to just get 30 feet away from him. Poof! I, I don't like him being so close to me. Okay, I will say yeah, that you, you here. poof back to the road, so you're next to Luna and the rest of them. Okay. And for, I rolled their initiative, it's, um, 11. Okay. Not not super high, but they're both right next to this this guy. Okay. Do they go in right after? Do they would they go this round or next round? They'll go this round. Okay, then they're up next. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Wolf A and Wolf B. One got a seventeen. Okay. And the other one got some. A natural 20. Okay, those both hit. Are they going for the one nearest to you? Oh, no, they're going... I know which one they're going for. Yeah, okay. they're going for the one that was that I teleported away from. Because okay. I just summoned them right next to me. Um, I'm rolling for the one that got the 17. That is... 11 points of damage. Okay. And... Um, what kind of damage does he do? Uh, it's just piercing, so... Okay. Has it has a resistance to that, so it's going to do six, I think. And they have to make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Okay. Doesn't do... Ooh, oh, it's got awesome. a natural 19. Yep, that seems. Um, I'm rolling for the natural 20 right now. I got... So I guess it would just be 11 damage. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because it would be double. Okay. But, since it has resistance. And then make another strength saving throw. I don't okay. Make it, but... Um, they're they're not very strong, honestly. Yeah, they it's a six. Oh, um, it the um, yes, uh, Sever bites him with his teeth and then drags him down to the ground. Tries to drag him down to the ground as he is knocked prone. Cool. Nice. Next up is Kayanthi. Woo! Alright, so I'm gonna light them up as usual. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna do two things, and if one of them looks cute, it'll be a stunning strike. Should I do if I wanna do a stunning strike, do I have to announce it before? Or uh, You can you can do it after. You can do it after. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna You just have to spend the key for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh one's a sixteen, one is over twenty. Okay, those both hit. Cute. Alright, so one of them will be a stunning strike. Okay, so uh, you're going to hit the one near you, alright? Yes. So that's Alright, and then the stunning strike. Let me just get rid of the key point. I got two one. It has to be a con save or else... It failed. It got, it got a one. <laughs> Ooh, I think it nice. Knocked. I think I knocked it. I knocked it stunning. I knocked it stunning. Anyway. So then two hits. One's a six, so that's an eleven, plus a two plus a five is a seven. 
So together that's 18 for the two super. Okay. All uh, right. I think I have one more attack, right? Yeah, if you want to expend another key point, you can do another one. Oh, okay. Well, usually it's like three normal hits, right? Yeah, bonus action, you can do an attack. Oh, that's what it is. You Sorry, can spend another key well. point to do four attacks. That's true, but I already spent it. Can I move on to a new target or no? Yeah. Yeah, you totally can. Okay. Well, then uh, why not use another one just for just a few? I'll use another key point to head a different one and do two. To do more attacks? Strikes. Yeah. Okay, that one was not as cute. Um, math in my head. One's an 11. To hit? To hit, yeah. Yeah, that misses. Sorry. Okay. The other one is over 20, so I think that one's That hits, works. yeah. Alright. It just did nothing then. Wow. Uh, eight damage on top of that one. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright, next up in line is Luna. Yay! You just saw... Uh, Okay, on the bust out some moves. <laughs> jab left, jab right, pow pow here, and knocked one, st stunned one, and then <laughs> switched and right over to the other, like punching one. bags. All right, what do you want to do? All right. You got two by you, and then one's further away, about like 15 feet away. Okay, um, I want to feel like I'm being helpful to others, so I'm going to use my bonus action to cast. Shield of Faith on Ellie. Do you want Shield of Faith? Sure. Okay. That, that adds to my AC, right? Yeah, that's plus two. That is really good for me. Yeah, yeah you gracefully take your rapier and uh, like whirl it around your head and then point it at Ellie, kind of like a conductor's baton, and then this holy energy sort of like rains down on her and glistens and lands on her and then she sort of has this gold sheen on her at to her AC. And I'll pick one that's near me that looks like it's having a bad time. Okay, so there's a stunned one and an unstunned one. Um, I'll pick the unstunned one. Sure. For now. And okay. cast Hold the Dead on that one. Okay. The wisdom save. Oh, it rolled really well. Well, I'm rolling really good with this one. Um, 22 necrotic damage. It saved? Yeah. It got a oh. natural 19. Oh, I thought you said it got a 10. Oh. Okay, never mind. No damage. Yeah, okay, no damage. unfortunately. Thank you, roll. <laughs> unfortunately, no damage. 21. I'll roll like 2 next time. Okay. And then you'll roll a 20. A two with a zero. All right, back, back at the top. It's the other sh shadow fiend's turn. This is the one that was by Ellie, but now it's by the wolves. Oh, oh I'll just have it hit the wolf. I don't want this to go on forever. So it's gonna try to hit wolf, wolf A, and it rolled a natural sixteen for hit. So that would be a twenty-four to hit, and then it did. Six points of necrotic damage. Wait, is it hitting the wolves? Yeah, it's hitting okay. your the first wolf A. Okay. So it did six points, and wolf A needs to make a con saving throw. <laughs> I'm sorry, how much damage is it? Six. 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 Con? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got a natural 19. Alright, yeah, it just shrugs it off. Okay, next up is the other... Sh yes, the other shadow. So this is the... Oh, this is the unstunned one. All right, so it's right by Luna. You just, I think it would go after Kayanthi because it punched it in the face. So he's not gonna like you yeah. very much. We like it very. Let's go. Does an eighteen hit? Yes. Dang it. Okay, so it. it ooh, it does nine points of necrotic damage to you. Ooh. And you need to make con save. Okay. Save me, Khan! Oh, I got a 17. You saved. Yes. Okay, back to Kiara, you're up. You are actually out by the wolves and the singular shadow because you had to move to hit that specific one. Okay, and the wolves are 
the restaurant at RBC for the best of years, right? They're they're friendly. Oh, they're friendly wolves. Okay. Yeah, they're allies. Wait, wait a minute. I bring the camera. Okay, and yeah. we have one stunned and two left. Yeah. No oh, shadows. Okay. I will cast burning hands. Do I have to do any sort of save? I'm actually checking that out really quick. Burning hands? Burning hands. It's yeah. a, it should be a dex. Yeah, I was thinking it was a dex save. Duration is instantaneous. It's... Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a save. And they make a, you have to make a dex save. He made a dex save. He, he rolled a natural 20. So you'll, um, you'll do half, half, damage. half damage. That's still damage. Yeah, that's a something. So I don't need to roll the attack or I do? No. You just roll damage. Okay. Yeah, because it's a save, so oh, okay. it depends on what, on what I roll. So that is two sixes and a five. Ooh. Okay, so that's 17. Nice, I was like, wait. Yeah, it's 17. Uh, and that's halved. Mm -hmm. is, it a, is it a ranged thing? Yeah, it's a 15 foot. Okay, so um, yeah, you... Touch the gems on your gauntlets and they glow a bright orange and extend your hands forward as these from your hand erupts these um thin okay so this wall of this thin sheet of flame shoots forth from your fingertips and then just kind of barrels towards them. Yeah. Kind of singeing the foliage in its path. Impacts the shadow being, it takes damage. So, after Kiara is the other shadow being, so this is the one that's stunned. So, he's out for my, my next turn. Yep. Okay, so he doesn't do anything, and then it's Ellie. It's me. Mm -hmm. It's okay. you. When we're attacked, though? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, oh, no, you, you cast a spell. Yeah, but I have two attacks. A spell oh. is one. If I was casting a cantrip on my blade and then attacking, that would be two. That's right. Well, no, you okay. use a you use an action to cast a spell, but if you're attacking, you could do two attacks. Yeah, so you have to use your first it's action to do an action. attack. It's a little confusing. Okay. So you, okay. per round, you can choose to do two melee attacks and or one spell, spell attack. One spell attack. Mm -hmm. And then it gets okay. like a little more confusing when you add melee spell attacks like Booming Blade, which basically in this instance is more of just like a melee attack. Yeah. Okay. Augmented uh, attack. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Thank you for playing that. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it's okay. Ellie. No. All right. Um, so there's the one that's stunned. There's yes. the one that's by my wolf, wolf yeah. friends. Yeah, and then there's one, one more. And then there's one That's more. That's in your proximity, yeah. My proximity. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try it again. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm like, okay, maybe I can get it this time, and I'm going to do ice, ice knife again. Ice knife. Ice knife. Ice knife. But I'm going to hit the one that's stunned, so maybe with advantage I'll be able to hit it. Hey, hey! Wow, this is this is rare. I got a natural twenty. Okay, yeah. Well, well, for that better. sweet damage. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 when you uh, okay, hold on. okay. So I think just the piercing damage is doubled. Okay. And that is, yeah, that's, I got a 10, so that is 20 points of piercing damage, and then it has to make a dex save, which, which I don't... It's, it, it automatically fails. Yeah, okay. All right, that one, what, how do you want to murder this one? That one's going down. Oh, okay. Um, uh, basically, what I want to do is um, I take the ice knife, and I'm like, okay... Maybe, maybe the spell worked now, and I close my eyes, and then I just shoot it forward, 
And then like as soon as I open my eyes, I see that its head is just clean off and then it just starts like dissipating already. And I'm like, I did it! As I exclaim towards uh, Keonti. So that one's gone from the round. All right, Elliot, your wolves turns. Oh, okay. Bork, bork, bork. Okay, I, I rolled all of their things. They're still attacking the same okay. same guy. Okay. They I got a 24 and a 16. Those both hit? Um, and they both, I already did the half damage, so it's six for both of them. The, as in they both did uh, six, or together they did six? Um, they each do six, so... Okay, it, 12 damage. 12 damage, collectively. Alright, so it's, alright. Okay, Yanti, it is your turn again. My turn again. Alright, so is the only one left next to my stun, right? No, there are two left. There's one about 15 feet away from you battling the Ellie's wolves, and there's another one that is next to you. Just like me, they long to be next to you. Alright, look at the one that's next to me then. Okay. I don't think I have... The thing is, I don't have any fancy tricks, and no one tries to shoot me with anything, so I can't do the flesh missiles, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on shooting. All right. Hey, your punches are doing great. Punches are great, yeah. Yeah, you just did it. Thing is that he's got a nat one, so that didn't go. If it um, if it wasn't for your I don't stun. I not hit either. This one is a. I got a five plus an eight. Thirteen. That might, that hits it, actually. Okay, that's one hit, and then I'll use my bonus action for another punch. Please just Ooh, have that was a really good punch. Um, okay. So that was six plus five, eleven damage for that one. Thanks. Oof. And then and then. A nine plus eight. Does seventeen. Seventeen. That hits. I think that hits it. Alright, cool. Two. Uh, that was another six. I got another eleven damage, so it's twenty two damage. Okay, how do you wanna how do you wanna take this one down? Let's see your roll. Okay, this sounds fun. Okay. So I'm right next to it, right? So I'm gonna like I'm gonna do like one like an uppercut. The other one's gonna like hit it in the stomach. Uh -huh. that maybe I'll like make my hand glow so much it like explodes into the inside out. Oh, oh yeah, that's so cool. you step forward <laughs> and lean into this uppercut and then um psh, as it reels backwards you step forward with your other leg and then with this radiant charged fist you plunge your <laughs> you plunge your hand into its stomach and then just from the the, the pure energy of the strike, it just explodes on impact and in this burst of light, it just sort of erupts and evaporates. They do make the same, like, ear this one makes the same eerie screech noise as before. The other one didn't, in my, because its head was cut off. Okay. That happens. When you cut off someone's head, it doesn't stop it doesn't talk anymore. It just talk anymore. Luna, it's your turn. The only one left is the one that Kiara and the wolves are fighting. Okay, that one's far away, so I'll try to pull it to death again. Alright, I need to do a deck save? I think it's wisdom. Wait, wis this okay, that's a 14. Okay, that's a fail. It'll take, it'll take 9 necrotic damage. 9 necrotic damage? Okay, okay. Hey. So, the 22 I rolled last night. Shh. I know another whip of the rapier. You hear this. I, I like thinking that Toll the Dead has a little bell sound. <laughs> yeah, and, and then like above it, this spectral bell kind of just ding. And from that sound, it kind of reverberates through the creature. And you see its shadowy essence starting to evaporate. It's still hanging in there. Uh, we're back at the top. It's going to. It's going to try to attack Kiara. And it hits, okay, that's a natural, that's a dirty 20. Yeah. It does 8 points of damage to Kiara, and Kiara needs to make a con save. Con save. Uh, that is a nat 20 plus 5. Nice, you'd shrug it off like no big deal, whatever. So uh, 8, yeah. Then it's Kiara's turn. And I am going to. I'm going to have. 
blooming blade on my uh, sword and I am going to strike it. Go for it. Yeah. Strike it. Do, 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 do. 15. A hit. Seven and a five. Twelve. Six. A six, eighteen. Yeah. How do you want to take this one out? Yeah. I'm going to clip it and try from top to bottom, like zipping, like zipping down a sweater. <laughs> okay, yeah, she brings up her yes. sword high above her head and just, you know, you see, you see this blade just yeah. crackling with energy. She brings yeah. it down. <laughs> this thing just dissipates. What? No longer sweater weather. I like it. I like it. No longer sweater weather. <laughs> I like it. That's Kiara's like cool like one liner. It's no longer sweater. And it's like a dad pun, oh my god. <laughs> Looks at camera. It's summertime and the living is easy. <laughs> Alright, so these this with the shadows now dissipated <sighs> the area is calm once again returns to that eerie silence that you've come to a know when this would you um let's just have you guys make investigation checks to um if you guys want to find the find the brother's hut make investigation checks if you want to just press on then we will all right let's do an investigation <laughs> Um, yeah, that didn't work. All right, you both talked at the same time, so... Fifteen. Fifteen and... Three! Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah it's not good. She's not... Um, so yeah, you guys... Her life. You guys walk down the path. Luna, you... Um, everyone seems to... You know, have a, there's a bit of an edge to the air because you guys have just had numerous a number of encounters. Luna, you are passing by through the woods, and then your eye catches just a very faint outline of a hut in the distance. It's probably like 60 feet off the path through the the brush and um, you look down and you can see there's like a little bit of just an animal trail that leads to it. Do you guys want to go to the hut? Yes, I'll back my, the nearest person with the back of my hand and say, hey look, there's a hut. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's get going. How, how are, are we? Are we, are we healthy? Are you guys okay? Um, I am three-fourths okay. I think I'd be good if we had another rest, but I'm fine. For now. Alright. Alright. Alright, well... A little couple of bruises? <laughs> I'll give myself some healing. Okay, Ellie heals herself, yeah, you guys. I... And I, I just have my two wolf friends. I have Sipo uh, and Sivir just walking with us. And you guys see these, like, spectral wolves that are just like kind of slightly translucent and kind of like have like this greenish blue glow to them and like kind of floating within them is just like these little wooden totem. Hey, that's not bad at all. I'm just gonna lay on hands herself. Okay, gathering up your HP. <clears throat> There's a small shack nestled into the dense thicket of the forest. It, it's, it, it's a humble abode, made of sod and wood. And there's a ring around, a ring of burnt ashes around the house. And a strange stillness to the air. You guys... As we're walking, as we're walking up to the cabin, you just hear Kara just go, I miss bats. <laughs> just this sound of nature. Anything she's used to bats. She got a little used to like the noise that nature makes outside of the cave. And now she's like, I miss bats. Tearing 
I mean, it's not it's not too bad. I mean, it's it's dark like a cave. You oh, smell the air. <laughs> this is probably where you got the scent of something burning. It was from here. The uh, do you guys open the door? Yep. Okay, so you creak open the door and find three bodies: a man, a woman, and a young boy. The three are embracing themselves in the corner of the house, and at the fingertips of the man is a vial, and clutched in his other hand is a piece of paper. I was going to investigate the paper. All right, Kayanthi, okay, you reach uh, across the the corpse and very gently pluck it off of him. It says, "The shadows are hunting us. They carry the faces of my friends in Dark Pond." Which can only lead me to think that they are somehow warped into these ghastly creatures. Whatever the, whatever um, they are, the light seems to deter them. But that only worked till nightfall. Even now, we can hear them clawing at the outside of my hut. My son is sobbing, and my wife is trembling. There's no way out. The only solace I can take is knowing I can give my family a peaceful death, with hearts, w um, with uh, hearts for it. They'll simply fall asleep and perish. I pen this down now in hopes that my account will somehow help if there is some kind soul who knows of my sister Katie, to tell her I love her and that my wife, Terry, and my son Peter are safe. Your brother Jack. P.S. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the Harvest Festival. Aww. That's what's there. Depression. Wait, okay, so... The family is there mm -hmm. on the ground, mm -hmm. but the letter said that they're safe. They're safely they're dead. Not yeah, hurt. they're safely dead. Safely dead. Yeah. Shadows don't really cling to anything that isn't living, I guess. Oh, it's too much. Well, just now I know what happened. Can you find out her? Okay. Talk to the left, I'll to her later. Uh, do you guys press on to the next town? Yeah. Alright, so you guys press on through the forest. Um, <clears throat> do you guys take the note or anything with you? Yeah. Oh, the note. Alright, you take the you note. Take it with you, yeah. Then, um, say you guys, we've done enough combat, you guys come to Fir Tree Hollow, which is the other town. Just gonna do a mechanic real quick. It takes like the better part of like it takes from here to here. It takes it takes you a while. It takes like because this forest is big and dense and like there's a lot of switchbacks. It's just a lot. So it takes you a while to follow this trail all the way down. How long is a while? I'd say it's like nightfall now. Okay, so like a couple of hours. Yeah, it took you a couple of hours. There is a glade here that is encircled about by fir trees, and an earthen mound in the center. The path to it is well worn, and there's a small door in this mound, um, probably for the size of a dwarf, and you can reasonably assume that this is some sort of living quarters for an underground dwelling, and presumably a dwarf given by the size of the door. The handle <clears throat> is broken off, and you try to push at the door, but it's not budging. It's like something is blocking the door on the other side. What do you guys want to do? Really look around. Push harder. I can make, open up. make a strength check. And um, Kiara, you're trying to get people to open it from the other side with that knock? Yeah. Okay, Make I guess make a charisma check. Okay. Intimidation or... Yeah, you can do intimidation. That works for me, too. Intimidation? Okay, well, if it's intimidation, that's a plus five to my 13. Okay, okay. so that's an 18. Yeah. That's FBI, open up! <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you know who the FBI is, but they open up. <laughs> no, FBI. It's that's probably a drow thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, what's your strength check? Minus... Two. I rolled round investigation, yes. Right. I rolled a nat one. Awesome. 
So like Luna's like pushing and shoving against this door, trying to get it to budge. With your uh, your shouting, this it's so intense and like holds so much authority that it actually kind of freaks Luna out because she's not expecting it. And then she like jerks forward and actually like manages to crack the door and it. <laughs> so you're like, oh, it's the door's broken now, but you guys could sort of reach in and um, reasonably like push aside what's there. And then after a while, you kind of shove and creak the door and shove and creak the door, but you managed to open the door and kind of step over um, the blockade that was there. So there was it, tables, chairs, uh, it was deliberately placed, but you guys are now inside the mound. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, can I do like a perception check inside just to see? Yeah, 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 do a perception check inside. Just to see what's going on in here. Alright, alright, not bad. That's at 18. Okay, so you can So you initially are just in a hallway. And you peer down the hallway and you see that this leads to a type of break room. There's tables and chairs. Um, made to accommodate the sh their shorter creators, so... It's dwarven made, about the right side, maybe halfling. Um, Probably dwarf, given the like uh, ge geometric patterning on it, and you know that's dwarven aesthetic. But then, the, and um, to the north is a um, the room is empty, so you guys just can like safely creep into this break room. To the north, there's a stairway that leads up, and to the east, now to the west, to the west, you came from the east. To the west is another hallway that. Um, curves to that curve, so you can see the end of the hallway and then it turns. You don't see where it goes though. What do you guys want to do? So you can go. Go down the hall. Yeah, let's do it. On it. Okay, so you go down the hallway and uh, creak down the stairs. Uh, let's see, you're in um, number four. Do we light a torch? You can see. Is there eyes? It's, I, I let me see. It's like a magical darkness though, and that changed something out of that. You're inside, it's dry and cool, it has kind of a earthy scent to it. It's dark in here, yeah. Can I do like a check to see if like we see anything similar to like the um the past kind uh the past remains, like just discarded clothes? Or anything like that. So you guys moved from the break room and into the hallway. Do you want to check the hallway or the break room? Uh, I guess the break room. Okay. Make a perception check in the break room. Can we all do it? Sure. Sure. That's a cool. 19. Okay, so you guys are looking around, picking up like you know, it looks like that there's there's basically like um, some cards that are on the table, and they all were just left there. Um, and it looks like some some tables have been overturned. There's some type of attack that went on here. Um, and then you you look at the the walls, and they have these beeswax candles. And, and you're looking at them, and they're not lit. Then uh, one of you tries to light them, and the darkness is so dense and so black that it, these candles will not light. You can make a, an investigation check to see how much you can glean from this information. <laughs> I got a zero. I got 16. Because okay. I have a negative one intelligence. That's awesome. Yeah, trip over the darkness. <laughs> yeah, you're like just you're like why isn't this lighting? And then you, you there's just like a stool that's just really out of your peripheral, and and you kind of back up over it and um, stumble. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what did you say, Kiara? Uh, is this an investigation for the break room or for the hallway? Break room. Okay, I was checking in the hallway. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. You checking in the hallway. So, Kiara, what's your investigation? Uh, my investigation was plus three thanks to my owl, and I rolled a 13. So 16 in all. While you're poking around this area, you notice that there's this, um, like, kind of divot in the floor, and you think, that's weird, and you go when you kind of, like, press your hands against it, and it gives way a little bit. You're like, oh, that's a pit trap. Oh. Oh. Can I investigate to see what it would have let set off? Uh, make... Let me see... So you want to find out what it would have set off? I mean, I can tell you that it would have opened... Do you want to see, like, where the pit trap opens up to? Oh, 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 oh okay. It's okay. a pit trap, so, <laughs> like, it's a trap door that just falls down. Uh, okay. Sorry, my brain is just like, I'll step on it. <laughs> where are the darts? <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been to dungeons in a night. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a dad. <laughs> do another perception check. And what was your perception check in this area initially? Because I didn't actually do anything with that. Oh, it was it was sixteen. Oh, okay. Now make another one. Because you're like, all right, so there's a trap here. People use this hallway. There's got to be something to turn it off. And I got a, a 12 plus 3. Oh, cool. Alright, so, uh, that's a 15. I feel like these are a little too high. So, One less. What is that? You're, you're looking around, and, um, <laughs> are, are you okay with having dumb luck, or do you want me to flavor it as you actually found it? Okay, so like, you're like, kind of like, pet touching around the walls, like, touching all the, like, bricks in the wall, like, well, there's gotta be something, and then your little owl just lands on one of the, like, torches, the little braces that holds the torches, and then it goes, ka-ching, and you hear these, like, uh, kind of like, um, it sounds like basically something locked in place, ka-chunk. You go and touch the ground again, where uh, the pit trap was. It is now firm. It doesn't give way anymore. So you can reasonably assume that you have disarmed this trap. It thumbs up to the owl. Good yeah. <laughs> Good job. All right. Oh, what's the owl friend? All right, okay. Luna. Oh, what was six. your investigation check? Sixteen. Okay, Thank so you. you're looking around, and you can gather from how the tables are kind of spread out, like it looks like they were moved to um, get out of the way and provide some sort of combat space. Things have been turned over. Um, it looks like there was some sort of combat here. And then there were, you can reasonably assume there were survivors because someone barred the door. Yeah. So, um, it's... Yeah, that's about as much as you can gather. It's just, it's, it's like the first room, so. <clears throat> you guys, you guys have the room, you guys still have the hallway that's to the north, and then the hallway that Kiara is in. So where do you guys want to go? Well, we might be getting close because of this darkness as I cast um, dancing lights, and I, I assume that it's not going to illuminate really anything. Yeah, you cast Dancing Lights, it helps, like, barely. Like, you see about, like, a foot more. Did Candy just start crawling on the ground? She didn't trust herself anymore. <laughs> I wear my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. So wait, is there anything <laughs> down the... I can't be seen without my glasses. <laughs> I, love that, I love that line from Donna Yeah, I love that. <laughs> what was it? Scooby-Crawl. Bella, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, they're just talking about trying to drop it. I love that. Uh, was there anything down the hallway where uh, Kiara was? Just the pit trap. Just the pit trap. Just the pit okay, trap. Let's, yep. Let's let's go down the let's go down the other hallway. Yeah. Okay, so you guys go up to the north hallway. Is that where you want to go? Yep. Okay, so you go up to the north hallway. And it turns and curves, and you enter this 
cylindrical room. And there's this, it's like a, it's like a turret. And then at like eye level for probably some, a humanoid that would be a, like a dwarf. Uh, you, there's this little slit for like an eye hole. And it goes all the way around the circumference of, of this circular room. In the center, there is a brazier. Oh. It's, is, is it has, no, it is not lit. It's not lit, fam. Should we light it? Party. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll try to light it. I, I have a tinder, I'm pretty sure I have a tinder box. Okay. You, uh. Yeah, I do. I have an explorer's pet. Okay, bake a survival check. It's not going to be very high. Can you get it? Okay. That's a, that's a 22, yeah. Yeah, so, very... I've been in the woods before. <laughs> do, like, do a perception check for me, Ellie. Real quick. Okay. Yeah. Aw, uh, yeah. Are you ready for this? It's a... 14. Okay, uh, so you, um, you touch the coals and, um, they're, you expect them to be somewhat warm, but they're actually really cold. It's like touching ice. Yeah, I, I, I like them. Okay. Okay. So the coal and the brazier bursts into this deep blue flame and any warmth in the room is vacuumed out. It's like being hit with a wall of ice. Whoa. Um, uh. Everyone, you guys make a DC con save of 12. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 14. I did it. Oh, I did it. I got a six, baby. Oh. I'm a little girl. My constitution <laughs> is not the best. Not the best. I got 13. Okay, so anyone, anyone who got above a 12 takes four points of cold damage. And anyone who didn't get a 12 or above suffers 8 points of cold damage. Ow! Four. Four? Why is this flame yeah. so cold? Yeah, 4 if you saved, 8 if you didn't. Yeah, it gets freezing cold. Your teeth are chattering. It's like... It's like, going it's like stepping into one of those really big freezers for it that they have at like restaurants in the, in their okay. kitchens, that and you're just hit with this wave of cold. You you guys actually like have a moment where you kind of like have this um, your head swims for a second just because the temperature changed so immediately. Your body was like, what just happened? Um, and, uh, do you, do you guys leave the room? Is there another way to go, or just the way back? Just the way back. Just the way back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I come in after you guys, and it's like, oh, whoa, it's cold in here, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. I, I lit a fire, and it made everything cold. It doesn't make sense. You think this fire is causing shadows? I. Um. Arcana? Yeah, do an Arcana check. Please do. After 19. Okay, so. Kiara, you approach this flame. It's really cold. Uh, and it's this deep blue. You know, with your knowledge on how. Frost and magic works and how fire magic works. You don't think this is the source of this extra planet or demon, but rather this fire has been, um, or like, it's rather like the wood itself has been infected by these shadows or this sort of plague. 
and when you lit this infected wood, it erupted into this corrupt flame. Flames painted. We go and Where have we not been yet here? Uh, oh, there's. The yeah, there's more to the end of the. There's another end of the hallway on, that the hallway Kira went to. Alright, let's go. Alright, so. I, I insist that I leave because I know where the thingies are to stop yeah. and trap mm -hmm. them becoming a problem. Uh huh. Okay, so uh, you guys. Woo! Shake off the cold. Run back inside. Uh, Fancy wants to talk to Ellie and see how she's doing. No. Okay. Are yeah. You Are you okay? It's really cold. That did a maybe like that did a number on me. Is that number eight? Lay on hands. The number eight. Oh, are you are you doing lay on hands? I can if you want me to. Do you need it? That would be nice. Okay. How much do you need? Um. Ten points. Yeah. Okay. Ten points. Oh wow! Well, yeah. I am back up to fall. Oh, that's a lot better. Whew. Yeah, with this radiant energy. She she gently... How do you want to describe your lay on hands? Because I like flavor. Okay, she's going to um, lean over just, just kind of like... like it's okay. At least like, puts her hand on her shoulder and it glows a bit um, like a whitish yellow. Like where, where her hand touches her. All right, yeah. And then just sort of this little shining light kind of absorbs into her skin and you see just this really faint radiant glow go through Ellie from that point and then spread throughout her whole body and then <sighs> she exhales this deep breath and she returns to normal. Okay. Like, this place doesn't make any sense. Why is fire cold? It's not the fire that's cold. It's the wood that's rotted with whatever is tainting it from the shadow. Um... Creatures. Well, it's 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 a it's from the raw it's what was it? The plane of shadows. It's from the 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 shadow plane, and so because the wood's infected, once you burn it, it burns wrong. We're here in a regular plane that has no affected by any sort of magics. It burns and makes us warm in a place like shadow plane where it seems to absorb in all light and everything one could assume it absorbs heat as well so you burn it it gets you cold that's bizarre yeah then again this whole place seems to be bizarre oh, whatever okay so you guys come into a common room there are lots of there's a really nice plush carpet and there's all sorts of beautiful carvings in, in the wood beams that support this area. There's a, um, an untouched, um, there, um, it's not lit. It's, uh, there's a nice fireplace with a really decorative mantle, uh, at, at, at the corner of the, of the fire pit, there's, like, a box with, like, some hay in it and a blanket over it, you know, thinking maybe it's, like, some kind of pet's bed. There are, um, a bunch of tables and chairs. I know it looks like this was the room where they ate and had um, entertainment and played games at the end of the night. Yeah. I, I run up to the fireplace and I kick all the, the burnt wood in it and I'm like, stupid fire. <laughs> <laughs> fire should just be hot. <laughs> Should we investigate in general, or is there anything in particular? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just do a perception check just to see if there's anything related to yeah. some of the scenes that we've... Can I make a survival check to see if I'm, uh, there's any tracks? Is it a wood floor? It's a wood floor, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I like, rolled a nine with perception, if that means anything. I... I rolled pretty good. Okay. I rolled a 23. Okay, so you guys are... Kayanthi's just sort of... It's dark, bro. It's dark. She's, like, picking up the, cut, the cups and, like, squinting at them. And, you know, like, you get to the, the little box with the hay in it, and you're just like, what even is this? Like, you're just kind of stumped at this, because you just don't know why this is here. 
and um, it's also like kind of messy and there's everything's in disarray so you're kind of distracted by all these things because you want to clean everything. <laughs> I can't tell how dirty it is. No, it's dirty and dark, and I want to clean I everything. I'm like fixated on like this is who the cups are in like in the line. Yeah. <laughs> Me with dark vision being like, all, it's perfectly clean. Just trust me, it's fine." Wasn't that? Watch like, your I know there was like a different room where like things were like overturned and stuff. Is there anything overturned here that Pia yeah, was like right? Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of chairs that have been overturned and she's over there like yeah, just not, fixing like, them. Like, you you like, push no, them no, in no. nicely. And then um Ellie, you hear n the northwest, there's this hallway, and you hear voices coming from the hallway. Um with their twenty-four, it sounds like um there's kind of like this cacophony of of grumbling noises, and then some hissing, and they sound sort of in inhumanoid, and then through it you hear a get back, get back. I um I perk my elvish ears, and I'm like I I hear people just down this hallway. What? There's people that's still alive. Let's go, and Lynn just kind of runs past you in that direction. Yeah, okay, and so I, I follow suit. All right, you guys. Run towards the sound. It's this hallway off in the distance. You can hear, you can see, like just the faintest little flickering of light. You come to this door, and the door, you you push it open to, and um, you see this dirt corridor supported by wooden beams. Mining tools line the wall uh, along with buckets of rubble and dirt. You see, just these the same sinister shadow shadows sort of just curling along the edges of your vision, and then. Um, off in the distance, you see a lone figure stooped on the floor, surrounded by candle wax, and uh, he's clutching a stone to his chest, whimpering as the last of his candle threatens to burn out. He looks up to the party and says, oh, watch out, they're behind you. I made him, I made him Irish, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, You've been listening a lot to Kiara. Uh, no, that's fine. <laughs> you can be Irish. I, I turn behind me. And five shadows emerge from the darkness. <laughs> Hi, this is Tigna, your DM. Thank you for watching Dungeon Damsels. This is not the end of the session, so please stay tuned for the next part. We update on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in supporting us more, please push the subscribe button, like, or comment. We also have a Patreon, wink wink nudge nudge, and our show is in podcast form. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, and plenty of other podcast platforms. Thanks, we hope to hear from you soon.